Hey everyone, I'm making this video to show a design flaw that I found in um, my 2008 Camry and it probably applies to anyone with the 2007 through 2009 Camry and uh, it's an issue that can cause your airbags to not deploy and uh, also your airbag light to go off. So it all started last summer when my car was getting really damp inside and um, my evaporator drain tube got clogged and that's in the passenger seat right behind the carpet here so what that does is the water that condenses onto the evaporator core from the air conditioning drains out of the car through that little rubber grommet and um, basically what happened is the bug made a nest in there and um, the water backed up into this mechanism here back into the evaporator core and then spilled out the seams and out the top uh, I'm not sure exactly where it spilled out but it backed up and spilled out so I fixed the problem just by taking this tube off and cleaning it out. Um, first you might want to unblock it from the underside of your car so that the water spills outside or be ready to catch the water with a towel. Um, but I noticed that my airbag light was on after this happened and uh, I, I didn't know exactly what the issue was at first. Um, so my mechanic pulled this code from the computer, uh, DTC B1790, Center Airbag Sensor Assembly Communication Circuit Malfunction. So what they recommend you do is you check the floor wires and the occupant classification ECU, which is this piece right here, and that is under the passenger seat right there. So I checked my floor wires, then I replaced that ECU, and then the only thing left there was the center airbag sensor. So as you can see here, you have to take quite a few pieces out of the car in order to get to it. But when I did get to it, it was pretty obvious that it was the issue. And you can see all that corrosion right there, and there's the cables, the connector, and then all that corrosion right there. And it's just right under the head unit right there. And if you look, it's right under the evaporator core. So when your AC gets backed up because that evaporator drain tube is clogged, then the water fills up in here and spills out onto your airbag module. And it's actually sitting, if you can see here, it's actually sitting kind of in a well. So the water just pools up in there and corrodes your airbag module. Now, um, I'm gonna replace this right now and I'll show you what I did to the new one to fix the issue. Um, but the 2012 and 2013 Camrys were recalled for this same issue. Um, they have not recalled the 2007 through 2009. Um, so if you run into this issue, you should contact Toyota. Just let them know that you had the problem. That's what I did. They said there's no current recall, but if they do issue a recall in the future, then, um, then you can get some sort of reimbursement. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that right now. Okay, so after a bit of hassle, I was able to get the airbag module out. And you can see a little bit of corrosion there, a lot more corrosion there. If you flip it over, that seems to be the problem. Um, lots of corrosion on the bottom, and the computer board is actually inside of this uh, casing here, and the water appears to have gotten right through there. I mean, there's cracks everywhere. 
So that is the old airbag module. And there it is sitting next to the new one. So with the new one, um, it doesn't come caulked here, but I actually read the uh, recall for the 2012-2013 um, uh, Camrys and they said that they caulked it and I think they applied like some sort of plastic um, shield to keep the water from entering from the bottom. So again, this is the bottom side here. This is the top side. And there's a little plastic flap on both of them, but it really only keeps water from, or debris from hitting the cable from the top. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I caulked all that and you gotta make sure to caulk you can see up a little ways just so that if the water rises a little bit it's not going to get in there. Um, I just used 100% silicone weatherproof freeze proof uh, caulk and then I'm going to actually just put it in a quart size freezer bag. Um, open the front for the cables and uh, bolt it down really tight so that it kind of seals seals the holes in the bag that it's going to make. So I'm going to put that in and then uh, show you afterwards what it looks like. All right, now you can see my fix here. I've installed the new airbag module. Um, it's right in that plastic bag there. So there's no way for water to drip on from over here um, back in there and there's no way for it to seep up from underneath and then if it does get in the bag there is a uh, caulk on the module so let's give it a go and see if the airbag light is off and there we go that was the problem the airbag light's not on anymore, and um, problem's all fixed. So one very important thing to remember is to disconnect the negative terminal of your battery and wait at least 90 seconds before touching any of the uh, airbag system computers. Um, and if you do run into this problem, just contact Toyota and hopefully there'll be a recall. Thanks.